So I've got uh, about 100 milliliters of hydrochloric acid in the Erlenmeyer flask. I've also got uh, a ball of aluminum foil that's um, 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And so I've got the balloon ready to go. The reaction will take uh, a little bit of time, about 45 seconds to really get going. It is exothermic, so um, it will heat up the, the flask quite a bit. So um, if you had a hood, you'd probably want to do this in the hood. I don't have one in my classroom. And if I do this with students, then I usually keep it to uh, either small groups if they're a little bit older, or um, I will do a few demonstrations for the class and then we'll take the hydrogen balloon and uh, we'll light those up in class and I'll show you the slow-mo video of that. All right, here it goes. So once it's in there, you don't want to wait too long. You stretch the balloon up over the top. That should be good to go. Give a little swirl. Um, it might be a good idea to wear some gloves. Uh, hydrochloric acid is not something you want to mess around with. And definitely wear your safety goggles. Uh, if you get it on your clothes, uh, you want to take those clothes off right away. So you can see um, the reaction's already starting. This is where I back up a little bit until it's all finished. Reaction is slowing down a little bit. It's super hot. So it's just about done. All right, so what I'm going to do now, because the reaction is pretty much over, I'm going to twist the balloon a couple of times. I'm going to pinch it. I'm going to pull the, the mouth of the balloon off the mouth of the flask, just like that, okay? Now, this is where it would be good to ha have a hood to uh, catch any of those vapors coming out of there. You could do it outside as well. And then you just tie off the balloon. 